Hey family, this is June Call, your Executive Vice President with My Econ, and I want to just shoot a very transparent video. I just want to be open with you right now for about five minutes, and I want to talk about an emergency fund. And I want to talk about what's going on in my life right now. So, about a week and a half ago, my wife's brother passed away unexpectedly. And so we had to get last minute tickets to New York and then get a rental car, drive over to Connecticut and get in uh, get a hotel for four four days and those were expenses that we weren't expecting but thank God we have an emergency fund to take care of emergencies and we were able to be with family in their time of need we get back to Atlanta yesterday yesterday is storming up crazy just from out of nowhere the wind is blowing and it felt like a tornado and a tree landed on the back of my home, tore up my, uh, my, my porch, and punched a hole in my roof. And so I've had to deal with that, trying to get that together. Now, yeah, I got insurance, homeowner's insurance, but there's a $1,500 deductible. So guess what? I got to pay $1,500. Thank God I got an emergency fund to cover that. Today, I had the guys come and remove the tree. Now, the tree is all halfway down, but for them to remove that tree was $525. Guess what? I can claim that against my insurance, but those guys want their money today. So thank God I have an emergency fund to go grab $525 to take care of these guys so they can cut this tree down. Here's something else. There's two other trees in my backyard that need to be cut down. One needs to be cut down immediately, and they are both not covered under my insurance. So one tree is going to cost about $1,000, the other tree is going to cost about $1,500. So we're looking at $2,500 to cut down two trees that really need to be cut down. And at this point, with the storm coming through and, and all, of the, all of the damage that it caused, I got to get these trees cut down because I'm not willing to take that risk again. But it doesn't stop there. I got a piece of rental property down in Goose Creek, South Carolina, down near Charleston. I got a call from my property manager and the AC went out. And it appears that I'm going to need to purchase a new AC unit for that condo. That's going to probably be two to $3,000 to do that. Man. Thank God I've got an emergency fund. See, what an emergency fund will do is it will take care of you in a time of emergency. Can you imagine if all of these things happened to me in the last week and a half, two weeks, and I did not have an emergency fund? Can you imagine how upside down my life would be? I'm not really stressed or worried about it right now because I've got the money to cover it. Now, let me tell you, I still feel the pain. <laughs> you know, when you spend that kind of money in that short period of time on things that you really just, I mean, you just don't enjoy those things. I mean, what good is it going to do me to have a tree cut down? How am I going to enjoy that except peace of mind knowing that that tree won't fall on my house? But these are things that have to be done. And so while it hurts, it's great that I have an emergency fund because I can go ahead and get it done right now. Let's go ahead and take care of it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. And I'm trying to get my life back to normal as fast as possible. And only an emergency fund will do that for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to take your personal finances seriously. Today is my time. The emergency is happening to me today. But it could be you tomorrow. And see, it's not a matter of if you have an emergency. It's simply a matter of when you're going to have an emergency. And the question that you have to ask yourself is, are you ready for it? Are you financially prepared for your emergency in your life? If not, I suggest that you do something about it. Now, some of you may not have enough money to start an emergency fund. And if that's you, you really need to get with me. My econ will teach you how to increase your cash flow, create a positive cash flow, and I'm talking about using the money that you already make from your 9 to 5. We can help you take that money from your 9 to 5 and do some positive things with it. Pay down some debt. Get out of debt. Because see, if I didn't have an emergency fund, I'd be going into debt to take care of this emergency. 
But we're going to get you out of debt, show you how to get out of debt. And then from there, how to start building your emergency fund. So when these types of things happen, you can breeze through them without a skip. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important that you do something about what's going on in your life right now. If you're not financially prepared, you need to get financially prepared. So I'd love for you, if you're watching this video and one of my associates has shared the video with you, get back with them and they'll help you look and see how to get your money right, how to get your emergency fund funded. And if not, give me a call. Get back with me. But whatever you do, get your personal finances together because your life depends on it. I'm glad I did. This is June Collier, Executive Vice President with my Econ, signing off. God bless and have a happy 4th of July.